after reading the script for the first time, my initial thoughts were, this is quite large. Um, it has three very distinct and different worlds, um, many characters in different levels of um, wealth. Um, I thought, I better start reading the sagas. <laughs> Um, one of the one of the challenges with researching the Northman and I would imagine any Viking project is the lack of um, written information. It's still an oral tradi tradition at um, the period that this movie is set at, early 10th century, and um, and it remains so actually for for a few centuries after that. So even the sagas, which are fascinating and have um, amazing characters. Um, they're probably about 300 years after, you know, the period that we were looking at. So that was challenging. Robert is exceptional to work with as a director um, because, because he's a writer-director when he is um, starting to think about the characters, starting to write the characters, starting to write the script. And, and through his process of writing, um, he does his own exhaustive research and he does that so that he can, you know, incorporate a lot of the um, movement, a lot of the, uh, what will end up being the, the sort of setting of, of the film into the script. So it's all there and it's embedded in the script. Um, that's very rare, um, you know, initial conversations, it's, it's for the first, in, in all three of these collaborations and, and particularly with the Northmen, because again, it, it's size and, and the different worlds that we delve into, um, you know, it feels kind of like I would like to have Elon Musk's neuro brain so that I could just basically plug into Robert and download all of the information that he has already sorted and, you know, figured out for himself. Um, we have very similar geek type um, proclivities. I started The Northman with an incredible amount of information and to that I added more research and then, um, you know, sort of started off on or started off down the path of, so how is this made? Why is this made? Um, what does it mean, you know, um, as pertains to the textiles or the construction techniques and, and so um, always taking things back to Robert and saying, you know, this is what I found about that, or this is what I found about this. And, you know, he's always excited by, um, you know, adding the layers and adding the layers. Both Craig and I um, are on, you know, Robert's wavelength, and Craig and I um, speak together and uh, speak with each other. And uh, Robert is, I think, probably the conduit that keeps the information flowing back and forth. So no surprise when it all comes together, you know, it seems like it's of a kind. Um, I think that The Northman, it's thrilling yet again, as it was on The Witch and The Lighthouse, to stand on set to the side and watch the characters in situ and really feel transported. You know, it, it's um, thrilling. Um, we all try to absorb information, detail, and then uh, incorporate that into the designs so that the audience for these films really do not have to question um, what they're seeing. I would be thrilled if um, the audience for the Northmen are transported, if they feel that what they are seeing in the story feels authentic, um, if it moves them, if it makes them curious, 
and I guess I hope that it might ignite a curiosity about what is really and truly a Viking aesthetic.